intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! There's Rev again, frustrated, making another video. I can already see Scopely just rolling their eyes like, oh, here he comes again to say something terrible on how awful we are. Well, you know what? Okay, only a little bit today. Only a little because you did something that was actually kind of cool. But at the same time, you did something that was really bad. So I'm kind of conflicted. Like today's supposed to be a, like Pitchfork's video, but I don't know. I, what do I do, y'all? I guess I should start by telling you why the heck I made this video. So Q, I'm in, I'm in a whole Q continuum thing right now. So flames. Anyway, get out your pitchforks and get your torches ready for you to decide if it's time to flame Scopely, everybody's favorite game show game. And today we're going to be talking about ship scrapping and how Scopely attempted, at least this is how I see it, to remove an established mechanic in the game for giving you more resources, or better worded as transferring resources from one to another. And I'll explain how they were trying to go about doing this and honestly how they're doing the right thing and listening to us, which is really weird because I normally make a video and I flame them and I burn them to the ground and then they kind of listen. They, they kind of like preemptively listened. And I don't, let's just talk about the problem. Okay. Ship scrapping is definitely a fundamental part of the game. If you are a player of any level, once you get to the scrapyard, which starts pretty early on, you want to be using your scrapyard very, very regularly. And that's right here. And what I mean by regularly is like if you're in the 20s, you want to be scrapping envoys to be getting crystal. If you scrap three envoys a week, and yes, I realize that is work. It requires you to grind out the XP for these ships, etc. But if you're grinding three envoys a week and scrapping them, you're getting about 100 extra uncommon crystal every week. 400 extra uncommon crystal a month, which is a ton for a low level player. If you're up in my level, like in the 40s, you're scrapping the level 26 ships because you're trying to take three star materials and turn them into four star materials. So, you know, one thing that you will see a lot of is something like a Mayflower. Look at that. <gasps> I love technology. It just transitioned right here. It's so impressive. You're going to take something like this and you're going to scrap it. And what do you get when you scrap it? I'm so glad you asked. Y'all are so smart to ask these good questions. This is what you get right over there. So you see, I would take three star materials to build this. Now this is base cost, everybody. This is not count efficiency researchers. So I would take my three star materials and turn them into four star materials to help me progress in the economy. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it's an established mechanic. That's the word that I've kind of been using for a while. If you remember the video I did, we really griped at them when they attempted to remove the tri-faction lock or the faction locks in general. And this is going back sometime. If you don't remember it, that's okay. It is going kind of back in the way back machine. And many of you newer players have no idea what I'm talking about. But in short, there was a period where Scopely tried to remove faction locks and their logic was they only wanted people to really focus on one faction. But it had been established for a long time in the game that we could do multiple factions. So we had to push back and we had it reversed. And this has become established. We're using two star ships and materials to transfer to three star. Three star to transfer to four star. The logical thought process there would be, okay, well, we'll do the same thing eventually, four star to five star. Now, I know many of you are immediately going to go, Rev, are you about to make a video that's only concerning the whales and the high level players? No. Because what I'm about to show you will affect you, whether it affects you today, tomorrow, two years from now, or affects you because it sets a precedent in the game. Let me show you what I mean. <sighs> I know what it's just bear with me. Okay. You're going to see a four star ship and be like, why is this important? All right. So this is scrapping four star. Now, for those that do not know, scrapping four star miners has actually been released for a couple months, but in this update, unannounced in the patch notes they released scrapping of four star warships the uncommons why is that important because you see here total cost to upgrade and what you got in return now remember what i said about established mechanics for the economy for players like yourself we use it to transfer our resources from two star to three star three star to four star but what they did is eliminate that possibility for five star as a mechanic you could no longer transfer four to five at a reasonable pace. Now, when you say reasonable pace, Rev, what do you mean? So absolutely fantastic that you asked. Let's go back to our original screenshot. Let's look at the Mayflower. Now to max out a Mayflower, which is what we would be doing right here, what will we do? 
You can add it together, but we'll, we'll talk about it. If you look right above my head, see how it costs 5,000 uncommon three-star gas to completely max out your Mayflower. And what do you get in return? When you scrap it, you get 3,000 uncommon four-star gas. Now I'm just doing the gas. I'm not talking about the ore or the ship parts, which are all great. So that means a little bit more than 50% of my three-star materials converted to four-star materials. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal. I mean, I'm not getting everything. I obviously had to spend the three-star to get it. I had to do the time, the effort to grind out the ship XP. It was work. Now let's try it with... That joke's getting worse and worse every time I do it, but I can't stop. Now let's take a look at it with the Valdor. Valdor right here. Now I want you to keep in mind that if I scrap a three-star ship, I do not get epic materials. If you can see right above me, it costs epic materials to max out a four-star ship, which is why it's so rare. Most players in the 40s and 50s do not take these ships to max. Tier seven, tier eight, maybe. Very few players have taken them to tier 12. I've only seen a handful of maxed out uncommons and rares. It does happen, but it's not very common, pun intended. But if you see over on the right side, that's what you got for scrapping a maxed Valdor when it launched. Whew. Here's why I'm mad. Look right above me. 390,000 uncommon refined gas is what it would cost. Just the uncommon gas, not counting the ship parts, not counting the rares, not counting the epics, just the uncommon gas, 390,000. Now, what did we get? 3,600. Is anybody here good at math? It's like 1%. We went from over 50% in the Mayflower example, which is an uncommon three-star faction ship. Uncommon four-star faction ship. We went from over 50% to 1% transference. Excuse me, what? And as you can see, it was worse for the other things. This was a problem. And here's why RevDuce is freaking out so much about this problem. Because even though it doesn't affect many of you right now today, if this were to be allowed to stay, it would ruin your gameplay in the future because we already know the refinery sucks. Agreed? Everybody agrees. Whether you're a level 60 whale or a level six player, you know one thing about this game, and that's the refinery is terrible. It doesn't pay out what it should. We can complain about that. Comment section below. In fact, I welcome it. Right now, I ask everybody to complain in the comment section about the refinery so I can show this to the dev team and to the community manager. So, all that aside, this has been something we've used regularly. Now, if they were allowed to nerf that, they're setting a precedent to nerf other things that we use currently in the economy for high-level play. That's my argument. Not only does this affect higher level players now and could affect us later when we got there, if we allow them to nerf aspects that they have established as ways for us to run our own economy and improve our economy, we're giving them a free pass to change other things that we do not want to do. And that's how I see it. Not everybody might see it that way. Either way, I think it's wrong. I think it should be fair and the same for everybody at each level. So maybe at the end of the day, I am making a video where Rev is focusing on high level players. But I do think that we will get there at some point. When this game first started, it took well over a year, two years to get to an enterprise at level 34. Now new players on server 75 and 83, et cetera, are able to get to an enterprise in a year or earlier, almost definitely. We've seen players get to level 34 six months or less. It's possible with the updated economy. This is part of the improved economy. We need to have this structure remain moving into five star. Now here's the good news. I saved it for the very end. You ready for the good news? We have an official comment that I can share from the community manager, EcoBoost Engine. He's actually here today. Yes, that's, dad jokes are here everybody, welcome. Eco said this, we've seen the community's feedback. I had a several hour discussion with Eco Ripper had a several hour discussion with various people inside the Star Trek Fleet Command, you know, back end. I don't even, how would I word that? I mean, it was just ops people and community managers and game design, et cetera. But here's what Eco released as an official statement to give me permission to tell you. We've seen the community's feedback on the new G4 scrapping additions in the most recent update and we'll disable the new G4 ship scraps until we can increase them in a future update. 
So this whole video of me complaining what was broken, what was messed up, and now they're saying they're going to fix it, I've got to end this on like a happy note. Like I've got to give them a small hand clap. But here's the reason that the hand clap is still very small. It should have never happened to begin with. Basic math and deduction of how this game currently works and how the players actually use the economy should have made it a no-brainer. This should have never left the drawing room floor at the numbers that were currently presented. That doesn't mean that I'm unhappy that they're going to fix it. In fact, I'm taking them at their word. EcoBoost Engine has shown me that he will do things to work for this community, no matter the player, no matter the level. And I will trust him at his word as long as he keeps at it. This is a great example. Come to him with a serious issue, and instead of needing the flame and burn the scopely down video, well, stuff starts getting changed. But this is egregious. Remember, we talked about the transference rate being over 50%. Now it's 1%. We've got to see a tremendous increase before we can call this a win just yet. But it is encouraging that they're listening already. And it is infuriating because it doesn't allow me to really go full-scale nuke them. And I had it ready and everything, like... Like I had the I had the flame transition. It was it was ready. But oh well, I guess we'll just have to live with the fact that we give them a chance to do right. And we must say that the feedback that we and not even just it's not just me, y'all. I say this sincerely. Over 9,000 people responded in the poll that we did last week. When it was the treasury video months ago, what did they do? They listened and gave you a free-to-play path to the treasury. They listened and gave the Cerritos a free-to-play path immediately at launch. As weird as it is, as annoying as some of the stuff that they bring into the game is, like all these pay-only ship skins and stuff. At the same time, they're also doing things to say, hey, we're hearing what you're saying, we're gonna work on it. So I'm gonna give them a chance. And maybe, maybe that's just me softening and getting, not as, gosh darn, I hope I don't have a shield cap on right now. But do you see where I'm coming from, everybody? Anyway, that's the problem. The problem was they tried to introduce Scrapping as a mechanic in the five-star range that, in my opinion, set a terrible precedent for scaling back an economy because they're worried about how people can transfer resources. But we've been doing it from two-star to three-star, three-star to four-star already. And it already is a painful economy. Armada chests and four-star are absolute trash. And now scrapping for five-star was absolute trash. Hopefully, this improvement comes and it's exactly what we're looking for, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I feel like I'm a ad nauseum thing here. I'm just repeating it all day. But hey, it's pretty cool that they listened already. Y'all know. I mean, the people who follow my channel the closest know that this was really going to be a Rev Deuce going off video. So now it's just uh, me stating my case, why I was upset, why I believe it needs to change. And now it's up to y'all. So comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on uh, how they're handling this. Let me know your thoughts on this in general. I mean, Ripper said it best when me and Ripper are having this conversation. This should have never passed the drawing room. This should have never happened. And it should never have been released. But I praise them for taking it down, disabling it, and working on to fix it and make it better. So they get praise for that. Anyway, appreciate y'all following the channel. Appreciate you watching it. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. I'll catch you on the next video which is all the time. I'll be moving, so if you're wondering why some of these videos come out kind of all over the place, that's why. I appreciate your patience, I appreciate your love, and I appreciate your thoughts and prayers because Lord knows I'm going to need them. Bye! An even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.